In this episode, I'm back in the southeast of England at Dungeness Beach, and I'm going to give you a little tour of this place and show you just how fantastic it is for photography. It doesn't matter what time of the year you come here, there is just so much to shoot. These decaying wooden boats and this rusty machinery it's it's really fantastic and this time I'm only going to be using a 50 millimeter prime and sharing some thoughts on that too I personally believe that everybody should own a fast 50mm prime, particularly so if you're getting into photography and you're starting out with some kit lenses and you want to move into really sharp, fast, professional glass. The 50mm prime is by far the cheapest prime lens you can buy. That f1.8 is very nice if you want to get nice blurred shallow depth of field images and also if you're shooting handheld in lower light gives you far more flexibility to work with. I love having a spare few hours being in a place like this and giving myself a challenge of using just one lens. There's so much to shoot here and there are the classic images that you see online. One of them being this boat at the back with the railings and the, the machinery to one side. I shot it last year. Yeah, that's the one. My challenge today is to find some shots that I haven't seen before, something a little bit creative, something a little bit different. Now that may be very hard to do because probably everybody thinks like that, but it's fun to find out. It's fun to spend, well, not even an hour actually because the sun's going down quick. So let's just shut up talking and get on with it. A 50mm lens paired with a full frame sensor has a similar focal length to the human eye. There's no distortion or compression and you get a very natural look. Unlike a wide angle lens, it does mean that you need to move around a little more if you want to get a foreground element in the shot. Here I was really too close to fit everything into the frame so I had to take two shots and stitch them together. But the end result mimics a wide angle but with less distortion. I really like the natural look to this. For this next shot, I move further away from the foreground element so everything fitted in nicely. Well, the sun has set and we didn't get great light in the end, but I think I got a nice shot. I was really low to the ground. I found a nice piece of foreground interest um, to complement that boat. And because it was getting dark, I lost the direct sunlight on the wheel. And that really made everything sort of come to life, all the texture and the rust and the grunginess of it. So I've got a little LED pocket light that I carry with me and I just popped that in in a couple of places. So I took three exposures of the foreground of the wheel with the axle, one shot with the light, one side of the axle, one with the other. And when I blend those together in Photoshop, some of that texture, that rust will, will come to life otherwise it would have been too flat. Now, you can bring stuff out like that in Photoshop. You can enhance clarity and things, but it does, it does break down the image. I'd 
I get criticized for not using neutral density filters and, and blending sky and foreground in Photoshop, but this is something I would rather do in camera because I know that I can get better quality or I've got, I've got more information to work with if I've already got the light and the texture before I take the image into Photoshop. Here's a version where I utilize the shallow depth of field this prime lens offers to really emphasize a focal point in the image. I opened it right up to f1.8. Also, look at how the fill light really makes a difference. Here it is without and with. I bracketed the focus on this one so everything is sharp from front to back. Now, which do you prefer, all in focus or shallow depth of field? It was getting dark now, but there was a bit of color in the sky, so I couldn't resist one more low light shot. I think it was um, short but sweet. I got a couple of images, had a great day. Hope you enjoyed coming along with me and see you again soon. If you enjoyed this video, you may enjoy this one even more.